Welcome back friends, Dan Vega here, and today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do something I love to do, and that is problem solving. So I got this question in, whether it was either Twitter or an email, uh, from someone asking how I would go about solving this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the problem. We'll go over to our main.java and try and come up with a solution. So the problem at hand is the operations should not follow normal order of operations. So who remembers PEMDAS? Or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as I remember it. So that just means the order of operations as far as math operations go. You always start with parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division left to right, addition and subtraction left to right. Instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to move from left to right and perform any of these math operations. So here are some examples. In the first example, we have 3 plus 5 times 2 minus 5. So what we're going to do is say 3 plus 5 is 8 times 2 is 16 minus 5. The answer should be 11. And here are some more examples that you can kind of go through some use cases. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in uh, main.java. Uh, because this is how the problem was presented to me and that person also gave me kind of their line of thinking and it was in a main class with a public static void main. If I were to kind of step back and do this on my own, I might create a class for this to perform these uh, operations and that way then I can really kind of create some test cases around it uh, because we're not going to test for everything here in this. You know, you, there are a bunch of test cases that may come up uh, that we we don't solve for in this, um, but that's okay. We just want to kind of find a solution and we can improve on it later. Now, again, I've been doing software development for a long time. This is not my, problem solving is a strong suit of mine, but some of these like specific code, like examples like this, like when you get into like leak code questions, I'm just not good at that stuff. So this is also an opportunity for me to kind of get better at this stuff in public. And again, uh, I have a solution here, probably not the only solution, maybe not the best solution. So I'd like to see yours. If you wanna go ahead and try and solve this problem uh, before I do it, pause the video, go off to yours, and, and let's compare notes on this. So what I need to do first is I am going to come up with an equation. So I need to take one of those equations. Let's take one from the file over here. And we'll say, we'll take this. Again, this is a string, so we're going to follow along with that. And so there's my equation. Um, I want to go ahead and set a result. So I'm going to say the result is equal to zero. And what I need to do now is pull out the operators. So plus, times, minus, and the operands. So three, five, two, five. I need to pull those out from the equation and then use those to perform our calculations. So before I do that, let's kind of revisit how we might do this with strings. So if we had a string called names, and maybe we had uh, Dan, Jen, Isabella, Juliana. So if we had that string, how could we get just the names out of that string? So what we can do is we can take str names and we can use a split on it and we can split by um, just a character like a comma or we can use regex. So in this case, we're just going to use a comma. And the result of this, if we look to introduce a local variable, is it's going to be a string array. And this will actually be a string array called names. So if we were to take those names and stream them and uh, for each, go ahead and say system.out print line. If we were to go ahead and run this, we should be able to see each of those names here in the console. Cool. So the idea is we're going to use this split to get out the operators and the operands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I actually want to create operands and operators as lists. I don't want to raise because they're hard to push and pop uh, or add or remove. So what I want to do is go ahead and create a list of strings and we'll call this operands and we'll go ahead and set that to, let's just set that to null for now. So we'll also say a list of strings of operators 
and now we have those. So let's get the operators, or let's get the operands first. And I'm going to move me out of here so we have more room. Okay, so the operands. We can, again, we can use that equation. We can split on that. And what we want to split on is actually any of the operands, right? Uh, things like plus, um, times, minus, uh, divide. And we can use a regex for this. And this is basically, so you have to escape each of these. So uh, we're going to use the escape. And then this is the or. So we're saying plus or multiplication or minus or division. So that's one way that we can start. Now I need to get a um, I need to get a list of strings out of this. So what we're gonna do is we can say uh, arrays as list, and this will give us what we need. Now the problem with this though is if we were to so this is basically going to create a immutable list or an unmodifiable list. So we don't want that. So a, a quick way to fix that is we can say new array. We have to initialize this anyway. So new array list and there we go. So now we can say our operands are equal to that. So operators need to get all the numbers, right? So again, I'm going to create a new array list. Inside of there, I'm going to take, um, I'm actually going to use a stream method here because I want to, again, split. So I'm going to split on that. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to say, hey, I want all the digits. So it's a regex to kind of ask for that. Um, but I also want to filter because I want to make sure that that is um, not blank. So I, wanna, I don't want to do anything if it's not blank, right? Um, and then finally, um, I want to say, let's go ahead and turn that into a list. Okay, so now I have my operands and my operators. Uh, if we wanted to, uh, we can go ahead and check those. Um, if we wanted to print those out, uh, we can say operand, operand stand. Uh, we could say for each here and, oops. And again, we can say system dot out print line and we can duplicate that and just say for the operators, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and run this program. And so we have our um, numbers here first, so our operands and then our operators here in the second one, plus, times, and minus. Okay, so so far so good. Now I do want to do like a quick check here. Uh, if someone were to put in an, in an equation without two operands, then that would that wouldn't work, right? Like one, if the equation was just one plus you know, that's not going to work. So there are probably some other cases that we should check for here, but I want to check for at least that one base case. So we're going to say if operands.size uh, is less than two, let's go ahead and throw an illegal argument exception. And we'll just say um, invalid equation, please, oops, please, supply at least two operands. So that should be good. Um, throw new might help. All right. So now once we have that, uh, what we want to do is we want to basically iterate over the list of operators while we have some. So um, let's go ahead and say while not operators that is empty. So why the operators are not empty, let's do something. And what do we want to do there? We want to 
we want to get a result. So we have this result that we've initialized to zero. So on the first pass, right, we're basically saying three plus five. This is, we want to calculate this, right? So we want to calculate this, but how do we calculate this? Uh, we need we need some kind of method to do this. And so what I'm going to do is set up a static int calculate method. And it's going to take the left side of the equation. It's going to take the right side of the equation. And it's going to take the operator. So in this case, it'll be 3, 5, plus. So now what we need to do is based on the operator, we need to perform some type of calculation, right? So we can use this nice new switch statement in Java, which will allow us to kind of create a more concise switch statement. And we can also return a value from that. So I'm going to say return switch, and we're going to, we're going to switch on the operator. So in the case of the plus operator, what are we going to do? We're going to take the left side of the operation or equation. We're going to go ahead and add the right side. So this, again, makes it really nice and easy. Um, we'll go ahead and say for minus, we want to take the left and subtract the right. For multiplication, we are going to uh, take the left and multiply by the right. And finally, divide left. Right. Now we do need to provide a default here, uh, so I'm just going to provide a default of zero. So now what we can do up here is we can say, let's go ahead and get the result, and I want to calculate. So the left, we need to get the uh, first operand, but remember the operand in there is actually going to be a string. and our calculate method here wants an integer. So let's go ahead and integer.parse, and we will get the operands that get the index of zero, right? So that will get us that. That's the left. The right is going to be similar, parse int, but we're going to get the operands of get one. What we got here. All right. And now we need the operator. So we're just going to say operators.get of zero. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and move this out so we have some more room. Okay. So now I'm going to get the result. So three plus five is going to equal eight. So now our current result in this iteration is eight. Um, now, the next time we come around, we basically want to move these out of our lists, right? So we're, we're, we're iterating while operators that is empty, or while it's not empty. So what we want to do is go ahead and pop uh, this particular operator off our list or remove it. So what we want to do is just say operators dot remove and we want to remove the index of zero and then what I want to do is remove the first two operands so I'm going to say operands dot remove of one so you can say like zero here but as soon as you pop that off then there's not a you don't want to remove one right you would want to remove zero and zero so just for kind of legibility being able to read this I'm going to remove one first and then remove zero um, finally, I think we need to, uh, on the operand side, go ahead and add a new operand, right? So if we pop this off, we basically want to replace it with the result. So now the next left to right evaluation would be 8 times 2, right? So the way that we can do that is we can say operands.add on the zero index, and we're going to say string dot value of the result. So that should give us what we need. Um, let's go ahead and print this out. So we're going to say this out, and let's say the final result 
is and then we can say result and I think that looks good let's go ahead and take a look at this so again we should 3 plus 5 equals 8 then it should say on the second iteration there's still an operator so it will say 8 times 2 which is 16 then it will remove all of those and then put 16 in there and then 16 minus 5 is 11 and then there are the operators is going to now be an empty list so this should complete and then print this out so let's see if this works I'm gonna go ahead and run it and final result is 11 so let's just take this really long one over here just to make sure we're hitting a couple cases 2469139 great cool so just a, a quick example like I said I wanted to switch it up today and kind of talk through kind of problem solving this is the way I've decided to solve this problem there are other ways to solve it uh, again this is left to right evaluation uh, I would like to you know hear from you did you find this useful would you like to see more problem solving videos like this one would you also like to uh, please go ahead and let me know how you solved it if you came up with a different solution there there are probably better ways than I did it uh, but like I said this is a great way for both of us to kind of learn uh, learn from each other learn in public grow in public so that's what it is uh, that's the video for today if you found value in this please go ahead and leave me a comment below hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and as always friends happy coding Thank you.